Hello there. Our brush tonight is my Maggard Purple Swirl. Has a 24 millimeter Plisson type synthetic knot, which is, if we're talking synthetics, that's nothing beats a Plisson knot. This isn't even exactly like the Plisson, the standard Plisson, like uh, Plisson Pro floppy, thin, no backbone, yeah, you can call it all of that you want to, but I've never used a synthetic, synthetic knot of all of them that I've used that comes anywhere close to that knot right there, so, uh, this is a good second, it's a fantastic knot, beautiful brush, we're going to sit that in the scuttle. Not so much to soak up water, but to warm it up. And uh, the soap tonight is Meisner's Tremonia's Lavender Deluxe. Now, this is a shave dedicated to Squirrely. <laughs> Pam Powell. Uh, this is uh, Lee Powell's watch, uh, and uh, Lee put an event together, a shave for Squirrely on the old Cahaba Shave Club, because he's trying to convince her, I think, to make group t-shirts, or, or she has some type of influence on someone who does, something like that, uh, and so uh, he asked everybody to post a shave in her uh, name that was uh, using scents that she loved and just so happens that one of those scents is lavender who knew she was as classy as I was <laughs> uh, so Pam if you're watching love lavender this shave's for you. Hope everybody's doing well. We're doing fine. Uh, awaiting the horrible snow that's supposed to come in. Everybody's around here. I don't understand it. People that live in Virginia should know and understand. But people around here act like they do in Alabama. When somebody calls for a little bit of snow. And all the forecast is calling for today is like less than an inch. Uh, one to three inches tonight and then some flurries uh, tomorrow. And everybody's freaking out. You go to the grocery store and you can't find anything on the shelves. Uh, the place is packed full of people roaming around looking for stuff they ain't got. crazy all right we're back I've got about four days five days worth of growth man that lavender is lovely I love this Meisner soap is fantastic anyway but this particular soap this particular scent I like I said before you guys know you've watched me a while then you know uh, that lavender is one of my very favorite scents. Now I love florals anyway, but things like lavender, lilac, violet, uh, rose, just, excuse me, mustache is tickling my nose, just fantastic scents and this this particular lavender scent in my opinion is outstanding if you haven't tried it you ought to pick it up it's relatively 
inexpensive in it's like 25 bucks something like that and it comes in a glass container you can buy the refill pucks I think cheaper but we're gonna use the artist levering razor company uh, ground in Hamburg this was a gift I forget Lovely. The edge that's on it. But it's lovely. This razor. I don't know if you can hear it. But it likes to talk. And I didn't get quite enough lather, or I'm sorry, quite enough water in the lather. So I'll fix that on my next pass. Beautiful. Lovely. have these little hollows even like if you look I think you probably can see even like when I pull straight up just makes a hollow deeper you have to kind of do one of those numbers cross your fingers and dance a jig <laughs> to kind of get that same thing in here no matter if I can dance all the jigs I want it's not gonna that's it very seldom do I ever get BBS there because the hair just goes shh, goes everywhere. I can get BBS. Over my entire face, but good luck there. All right. Lovely. That's a lovely shave. All right, let's add some water. Let's see what we get. Yeah, I can tell that's better. Lovely. Man, that smells good. Uh.
Lovely. Perfect water content now. Lovely. If you're wondering how to determine that, one of the easiest ways I know of is that you get a, a good stable lather, but When you go to rinse the blade, the soap rinses off freely. That's one of the biggest tells. And then if you pay attention, a lot of times you can tell Because if it's not got enough water in it, the lather will have kind of a cloying type of feel on your face. It'll that's beautiful. It'll feel like it's smothering you. That kind of thing. That's just gorgeous. Excuse me, man. I uh, forgot my washcloth, so I had to use the towel. Anyway, lovely shave. Uh, we're going to close this off with Procter & Gamble's Old Spice. I have this and Vintage Old Spice. Uh, I like them both. I love them both, actually. But uh, the uh, one of the things that I forgot to do and you really need to do with the new stuff is shake it because they've done something else to the formula and have omitted something that helps to emulsify the scent and so you need to really shake it good before you put it on your face but I like the vintage and I like man that's good it goes well with any kind of floral that kind of deal. I like the vintage and I like the uh, Procter & Gamble variety. The difference is that the vintage is more spicy, which probably would go fine with this uh, because this is a spicy kind of lavender. But the uh, Procter & Gamble variety has more of a, a, a powdery type of scent mixed in with it as opposed to the spiciness. It does have some spiciness, but the powdery type of scent that's in the modern version uh, kind of... Uh, Tones that down a bit, and I find that it goes with uh, a lot of uh, delicate types of florals, stuff like, particularly like if you've got a really light floral, if you put a little bit of water on your palm first, not a big puddle, just wet your palm, and then put the uh, Old Spice in your palm and kind of do this number before you put it on, that will mild it down too. Matter of fact, the old, when I was a boy, the Old Spice the original Old Spice a lot of times on the box or in a label that would come with uh, Old Spice it would tell you if you want to lighten it down or tone it down do that so uh, that's a tip uh, for me to you <laughs> that works real well with Old Spice but it also works with other aftershaves if you feel like the, the aftershave is a bit too strong but it might if it was a little lighter it might blend with something better Give that a shot. You never know. All right. God bless you. Thank you for watching. And Pam, make some t-shirts. All right. Later.